Hey everybody, Rachel K. Collier here. Welcome to the woods. Today I've turned up with three brand new machines from Roland. I've got the J6, E4 and T8. And these are from the Roland Ira Compact series. So right now I've hooked them all up, plugged them into my Zoom H6, gonna have a little jam, see what they can do and then talk you through it. Let's do this.
So there we go. That was my little jam with these new Roland Ira Compact series. I really love these little things. We've got the J6, the E4 and the T8. And right now, in true RKC style, of course, I'm going to show you a little bit of how these work. Let's dive in first to the Roland J6, which is the instrument that was doing all the chord work in that little jam. It's really cool and actually super inspiring to work with. It has a huge amount of pre-programmed like chord sequences that you can experiment with and then sequence a pattern yourself. So check this out. And this is just one of so many different chord sequences that are laid out for you. I think it's number 27 if you press shift and chord and that's when I came up with a and then I changed the rhythm and sequenced that little pattern. And you can see there's so many fun things to play with here. We've got the filter and the envelope for the patch. delay and reverb and then what we've got here these two buttons style and variation so at the minute if I play it like this if I turn on my style and variation it gives us loads of other ways you can play the chords different rhythms and then not to mention obviously I've chosen that sound there's other sounds we can use as well so I could change the sound here so let's go for sound number one Sound number two. And then just to show you some of the other chord sequences, because this is what I think is the coolest thing about it. This is going to bring a lot of inspiration. And for me, it was cool because it kind of was suggesting chords that I wouldn't really play myself. And I thought that was really interesting. So if I do the shift chord again, patch 27, let's change it. And you can hear the different sequences. 29. And it has loads of things like gospel, jazz, lo-fi, techno, house. There's like this huge list of ideas of chord sequences to play with. And of course, it's a little chord machine, so you can turn off chord and of course create your own chords. And this is quite cool. If I press all these notes at the same time now and the hold. It's really clever. So even though this is obviously a very dinky, cute little portable machine that I can bring to the woods and play in the bluebells, I'm definitely going to have this in my studio for some chord idea inspiration. I really like it. So now let's jump to the E4, the voice tweaker. This thing, this thing is, is crazy. crazy. It doesn't have many buttons, but <laughs> there's a lot of things it can do just by pressing one of the buttons and moving the faders. I love whoever's programmed this and made it has really made the most out of the small amount of button use so in the little jam i played then um you could hear i was kind, of, kind of doing this, doing this lovely, lovely delay, delay. 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 but if but i hold, hold down the vocoder, the vocoder button, button i can I change the effect there. so reverb a delay i've got chorus sound a really nice chorus sound i've, I've got, got echo, echo which, which sounds, sounds cool too, too. and i'll put it back to the delay i think that's what i had it on delay it's got the four man shifter. So we've got the four man shifter here to attack the four man mass and high. Four man shifter high. And then we've also got pitch too, so we can go low and we can go high as well. It's got loads of harmonies that you could add to it too. So if I press the harmony button, I can choose if I want a third, a fifth, or an octave. An octave above. There's actually quite a lot of different combinations. And I use the octave lower in my track. And I turned on the auto-tune as well. So with a bit of auto-tune, I really like that. So you can be quite creative with like different vocal effects that you've got in the song. And then the vocoder is awesome. When I turn on my vocoder, you can hear it now, do do do, and then add the auto pitch, the auto-tune. And that's when I was doing that. And then I didn't use it in my performance, but there's also this. A 
lot of fun, this device is. Really, really fun to play with. And they're all talking to each other with the sync out little mini chat cables. So I can send sync and tempo information from my keys into my drums and into my into my looper. So now let's move over to the final cute machine and this is the Roland T8. This is a great little machine for suggesting ideas. You can press pattern and scroll through. There's a few banks that you can go through and choose your pattern. I was using quite a few different patterns in that song. Um, this is my first pattern. And you just sequence them. So there's my hi-hat sequence, another groove then, a little bit more intense and then like a more of a breakdown bit. It's pretty cool for each of the sounds. You've got bass drum, snare, a clap, tom, open and closed hat. And you can obviously tune, tweak it, tweak the levels. And you probably hear me play that uh, cute little bass patch. So I was obviously playing that in real time as an instrument, but this is a really good bass sequencer. And then not to mention, finally, all of these little devices are just chargeable. So they don't have batteries. You just charge them up. So all of mine are charged, but actually this one's dying. You can see the red light there, maybe. <laughs> so I don't know how much longer I've got on my cord machine. It's also got MIDI in and out, so you can send MIDI to them. For the vocoder here, I could be playing some keys and sending the chords and chord information to the E4. I just can't wait to actually use these in the studio as well because they're really sweet and tiny, will fit on the desk and they do generate quite a few funky little ideas. So I hope you enjoyed my little jam and I hope you enjoyed checking out the J6, E4 and T8. Thank you to Roland for sending them to me and letting me have a go. I've had a lot of fun doing this. So if you want to get your hands on that track, it's up on my Patreon for free or it's also available over on my Bandcamp. If you'd like to see a behind the scenes of this video shoot today and a little walkthrough, then that's over on my Patreon. There's lots more stuff happening there too. My Discord community, monthly music making challenges and lots more in-depth tutorials Ableton projects, stems, things like that. It would be awesome if you wanted to join us over there. Otherwise, just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for Roland for getting me involved. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.